What's that? This is TikTok. You can take LGBTQ studies. I saw, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I do some research into this, it might be a cure. <laughs> I like how LGBTQ. There's a plus there. Yeah. A little tiny one. Yeah, you're right. But why is the B still there? You know what bi stands for, right? <laughs> it was good, right? That was a good one. I saw that. It was like, Skeletor's got a point. <laughs> the the bi implies only there's two only two genders. genders. Till we meet again. <laughs> Until we meet again, Skeletor. He <laughs> runs away. Yeah, so there evidently still are only two genders. So animals can sense evil. <laughs> Who have I done to do little in? <laughs> you came you know, with this Vaughn. You know, during the debate, like the whole all right, well, yeah, we'll, we'll run Yeah, up, I but, no, I wanted like I want a swan dive off the I was, I was working on that thing. I was finishing it up and I was and I was watching the 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 debate. Oh yeah. I wanna see it. Alright, we what can I touch it? <laughs> Oh. The book. Oh, yes, of course. Well, why? <laughs> My hand is drawn. I'm not. Touching uh, yes. it. I'm not touching it for real. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm all about so, the joke. I'm gone. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Long story short, folks. First time I tiki time with this guy. We're cruising. He's like, "Your turn." I go. He goes, "No, you don't want it bad." There was a time. It is weird how that. Yeah. Happened. It's like I'm comfortable with my sexuality and you're not anymore. I was, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to rub your arm. I don't care. And then fast like forward 20 some years. 21. Like, 21 I, next I, month, buddy. I, 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 think, I think I am anyway. Uh. I don't want this. I don't <laughs> want this. Yeah, I've seen some things, man. <laughs> 21 years of us being friends. We're in the foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> Grenada. Yeah. Wasn't that like eight hours long? Anger management. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some things, man. Waking up every morning, not knowing it's your day. They come in hours. Desert storm. Grenada. Wasn't that like eight hours long? <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in a long time. Anyway. So, well, hold on. Before I forget, the reason why that movie will always be one of my f all-time favorite of Jack Nicholson's movies. Right. Remember the scene in the bar with um, the one chick? I forgot what her name was. The blonde. He meets at the bar. He tells him, now what I want you to do is go up to Miss Thing and say this verbatim. Sorry for my rudeness earlier. It's hard for me to talk to beautiful, attractive women when I'm about to explode in my pants. Remember as he's walking away? <laughs> no, what? I don't remember. But <laughs> There's the Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I do remember that. That, that weird, crazy ass <laughs> That was one of the most diabolical ever. <laughs> you know what's weird? Oh, I know. felt dirty laughing at that scene. Okay, so now we're just going way off topic, but you know who Renfield is? Yeah. Okay, in the original, well, in the 31 Dracula? Yes. And he's got that, ah, 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 that laugh. Yeah. Jack Nicholson, back in like the 80s, early 90s, would have played an awesome Renfield in a Dracula movie. In fact, he, he should have been Renfield. Nicholas Cage did a good job. Well, no, Nicholas Cage wasn't Renfield, though. Nicholas Cage was Dracula. Renfield was that other guy alongside him. His assistant. Yeah. yeah no, but I mean, in that movie, Nicholas Cage did a good Dracula. Sorry, I <coughs> jumped two topics. It was well, sort of touching tips. Yeah, and back to LGBTQ. <laughs> and that's the show. Welcome. Welcome or back, bye. everybody. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Something. What the fuck? <laughs> and that's the show. We're in Mandela oh. Effect. I'm confused. We start with the end and end with the start. Not about my sexuality, because there's only two genders. So I can only like one or the other. B. Or both. <laughs> B. He's a B. <laughs> What's up, B? Boy. I am a boy. No, but... Okay, anyway, going all the way back to the... So, I, w I watched the debate. And throughout the whole thing... Like, I didn't really think much of it. It was lackluster. I think Kamala did better than I anticipated. Like, I had a feeling that Kamala was going to get a train run over her. And she really didn't. 
It was not. Did we watch the same debate? It was not Trump, Joe Biden, Mark. No. Trump. Oh, God, no. She. I'm not saying she did well. I'm saying she didn't do as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because I just anticipated her nervous word salad to come out the whole time. And I was hoping. I was like, I was geared up like, like I was. You for answers were? They were word salad, dude. Not really. She dodged every question. Yes. Like the fucking Matrix. But there again, so did Trump. Because they all do. It's like every... Listen. Oh, did was it you who said no? Guys, keep talking. I'm gonna try to find it. The debates aren't for people who've already made up their mind who they're voting for. Yeah, no. The absolutely. debates are for the people that are sitting on the fence. Is like mm, which one lines up more? And, but now in this day and age, it's not even which one lines up. Trump did put out his policies during the debate. Ooh. What he wants to do, he attacked the same things he always does. Um, but Kamala didn't really. Shit. at all but she really hasn't at all she only put her policies up on her website like what the day before two days before the debate yeah something like that essentially she's just running biden mark ii which i think most people figured was going to happen but anyway so just as a broad overview while i was finishing up this book i'm watching or i'm listening to the debate kind of go back and forth fireworks yep Good thing I brought her in for you. But, um, we're in Granada. <laughs> okay, I want you to watch this. Okay, before, this. Before I get back in. I think Mr. Nixon is an effective leader of his party. Bring him fine. Yeah, I can go check really quick and see. What? What's happening? I think Mr. Nixon is an effective leader of his party. The question before us is which point of view and which party do we want to lead the United States? Our disagreement is not about the goals for America, but only about the means to reach those goals. Tell us his greatest weakness. I would rather not critique the two candidates. I think we ought to attack our country's problems, not attack each other. I'm not going to talk about 2004. Character. I don't like to get into personal matters as far as I'm concerned. This is a campaign about issue. I agree with Senator Kennedy. I find myself in so much agreement with Mr. Mundy. I agree with Mr. Bush. We certainly agree on it. I'm going to give the president some credit. First, I want to compliment the governor. Well, let me pay a compliment to the president. I think Mr. Yeah. I saw that and I'm like, wow. Well, that's the old days. The debates, yeah. That was and when they would sit there. Although I might not agree with how my opponent is trying to reach the goal, we both have the same values in mind: America first, but, and that's what we need to take care of. Okay, that's Go the ahead. way it should have been. That's the way it should be. Now it's she smells funny. That's the He's way. He's got a fake hairpiece. That's the way it has always been, right up until 2012 and 2016 when Trump entered. It changed and. Surface value, everybody's going to blame Trump. And in part, and actually mostly, it is Trump's fault that it is not that way anymore. It's a lot of thumb jabbing. Oh, yeah. Here's where people are missing the point of why. It's not because Trump is this, like, skeevy person, whatever. He's a businessman, sure. But Trump's response is a response to the attacks on him. And I'll tell oh, you yeah. why. No, 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 I agree. Because Trump was never supposed to be there. He was surprised he won in 2016. Trump is not supposed to win that election. And I don't mean because he wasn't popular, he didn't get voted in. He's not part of the establishment machine. He was never a part of the establishment machine. That's why Republicans and Democrats alike have always gang-piled on him to get him out, to, to dog on him, to talk down on him, to say he doesn't know what he's doing. And in 2016, he did not know what he was doing because he had a whole bunch of people in his cabinet that were actively trying to thwart everything he was trying to do. He's learned his lesson since, and since then, they just went even harder on him. Hence the, what, 34 felony counts and all this other crazy bullshit. He wasn't supposed to be in there. That's why the whole back then we'd be like, I agree with this person. That's because they're on the same fucking team. They just have a D or an R in front of their name or behind, whatever. They played for the same fucking team, though. And I don't mean the United States of America. I mean the fucking military industrial complex. I mean the corporation, the American corporation that runs this shit. The sh what, the, what everybody calls the shadow government. The one behind the scenes. Trump is not part of that. That's why all this has transpired. Because they went, mm, and they just started attacking. 
gaslighting, blatantly lying, what happened during the debate. When Trump would say something, and this is where I was going with the whole animal thing, when I was watching the debate, I was it was mediocre. It was not what I thought it was going to be. So I was listening, I was listening, working, listening. And then they got on that topic with the whole thing. And Trump goes, they're eating pets. And I stopped and I'm like, that's the one. That's what they're going to latch on to. 90 oh, minutes of debate and they're going to, because I'm like, not really, not really. So they're, they're doing the debate. He brings up they're eating dogs and cats. And I'm like, now at this point, it does not matter what Trump says. The left-wing media is going to lock onto that and run with it. And that's what they did. That's a lot of thumping. What do you got? Um, I don't have that song stuck in my head. Anyway, so, yeah, they, the left-wing media locks onto that and runs with it. And the next day, it was all over all news outlets, everywhere. Facebook memes, everywhere. That one statement completely tanked that whole debate. At that point, it didn't matter how well Trump did or what points he brought. That statement tanked it. And the thing that sucks is there were reports before. I heard reports before this whole thing about the whole ducks thing. I'm like, okay, yeah, th there's there's something there. But then when he brought up, like, oh, they're eating dogs. I'm like, Ugh. well. <laughs> What's up? The turn in the fog is gay. That's the exact same thing. <laughs> That's exact same point, though. The same thing. Someone goes off, says some crazy thing that it may be, might be rooted in truth, but it's just spun and ran with. And I was like, well, that's going to discredit a lot. I thought Trump did okay when he didn't let Kamala get under his skin because he sure as hell did like a handful of times during the debate and when that happens it just made him look weak it made him look like he wasn't in control of everything and it a lot of people were saying that it was three against one it was the abc panelists and kamala constantly just dogpiling trump and there were parts where i could see that uh the immediate fact checks like there's there's no credible source saying that the anyone's eating pets like immediately but then there were blatant blatant lies by kamala that were stated the whole covington kids and uh, there were very fine people on both sides statement that snopes has already disproven oh, yeah. and she said that and was never called out on it when she said that we were not in any kind of active military anything oh yeah at this current moment and well, we actually, we are, and <laughs> the, the proof of that, I found this and I thought, well, this is perfect for exactly what I'm talking about right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, no, 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 not that one. This is, oh, this is the one. Well, I'll tell you, I agreed with President Biden's decision to pull out of Afghanistan four presidents said they would and joe biden did and as a result america's taxpayers are not paying the 300 million dollars a day we were paying for that endless war and as of today there is not one member of the united states military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this we're century. what but let's understand. Yeah. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> if that is the hardest fact check you could get, is the people actually over in a combat zone being like, uh, so what are we doing here then? <laughs> yeah. But those things were not fucking called out at all. At all during the entire debate. Like blatant lies, gaslighting, not called out at all. But anything Trump said, 
even if it was as ridiculous as like they're eating pets they're like well actually they're they're not eating pets and that meme that i s showed you before what was it family guy or future future or whatever the hell it was and say like the the debate and said mr frog or whatever it was it's like uh why are you uh what is your argument for this hi my name is like time's up and you're wrong and then to go see the other one. Oh yeah yeah that that meme that's once again that's what it was yeah like so that's that's as a broad overview that's where the debate was that's what i saw but again as soon as the pet thing dropped when the guy is that what he wanted yeah yeah but it's you remember the movie hellboy when he he makes he comes back samael oh dude i don't i haven't seen the first hellboy in so long with von perlman yeah where he breaks, i he, have i he own pours the, 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 the shit out of the glass and it, the wind picks it up and it starts to form the monster right i have the second one i thought that was awesome but i know that's never gonna happen I pour out my urn. God damn it, I really did get his dick. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna borrow that. <laughs> no, but um I don't know. It's really weird. It's really weird. No sadness, no anger. It's just this weird like th there's a piece of my father. Be it's gone. something yeah, it's something that is permanent. Yeah, there's no uh, yeah. I get that. I'm all about change. But that... Just evidently not your clothes. <laughs> What's wrong with my clothes? He's been wearing black for fucking 20 plus years. I have like 10 black, probably, 15 black shirts. I, okay, SpongeBob. <laughs> Fuck you. And, and probably longer than that. I have to ask Crystal to confirm that. No, I've only been with. Crystal. I had a blue shirt once. I've only been with Crystal longer, one month longer than I've been best friends with you. We we'll have to figure something out. Crystal and I got together, <laughs> nine of twenty, uh, nine of oh three, and then fucking Urkel. Hi, neighbor. And you and I started working together at Keymark October second. Yeah. So less than a month. <laughs> Wait, twenty three? That's like two oh, oh three. Yeah, oh three. Yeah, that's, that's like. 21 yeah. years. When did you get together with her? September 9th of 03. Oh, September 9th. I thought you said 23rd. That's like, that's like two fucking weeks. <laughs> oh. Uh, and then I started working with you October 2nd of 03. Yeah. <clears throat> or, uh, and we've done a lot of shit since. 03, no. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, 03. After high school. It wasn't 03. Because October of 03, I was at Price Chopper. Because we graduated that spring before, spring of 03. And then I started working at the store that s September, the end of August. It was September, and I worked to January. And then I left in that January, went to Keymark in 04. That's when I started there. So I was at Keymark longer than you? It must have been. Because I started in January of 04. Because I dropped out of college the first time <laughs> after a month of 03. I got a job. Holy fuck. Yeah. You were a loser long time. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> no, Holy but, fuck. Yeah. Are you sure? I am 100% positive. HIV positive? Probably. Sorry. I gotta get tested. <laughs> 20 years. Fuck 20 years. Whatever. Yeah, it's up there. I don't know if we're still recording or whatever. Nah, we're back into the show. Okay. I, I don't know. At some point, I'll... Just, there you go. Okay. Do the the rim shot. <coughs> <laughs> Cut it back. Get it back. There's like four th fucking rim shots. I don't know. The last one. Just pick one. <laughs> it's safe after every single one. Right, when it got like not as heavy, I'll just enter somewhere. There somewhere back there. Um, so, in. yeah. Okay. So, no, so <laughs> back to the pets thing. 
I still don't know what to do with that. <laughs> no, but that's just it. Is it was so jarring, even for me who understood what he was trying to say. It was so jarring that I'm like, what the flying fuck? Scared. You know how to take care of us, dumb dog? Stick your finger in my ass? I've tried that. It doesn't work. Was it your ass with my finger or I know. my finger it's, with my ass? It's got to be It's got to be your ass. It's got to be your head. It's got to be your ball. <laughs> Wait. No, but... um. Anyway, the so. whole jo- yeah no I I heard that because I I watched it too and I was like, for me that was like, I knew God. they were talking it just by happenstance I knew he was talking about the the ducks thing because that had been reported that there were Haitians which in Haitian culture like duck is a normal thing, yeah. and there were Haitians that were going in and beheading these ducks in public parks and oh, yeah. walking off with them. That is a thing. The, but they're community pets. Right. But like the it, one that got killed on 5S, our duck goose thing. Oh, um, right. The one that had been there for years. Somebody hit it, and the town was all, oh. When was that? When? A couple of years ago now. Was it? A year or two ago? What? Yeah. I uh, I don't remember. So. Oh, I never plugged that in. I... I as soon as he said dogs, they're eating dogs. I'm like, I have no idea about that. I understand what he's saying or trying to convey, but I'm like, that's the. <laughs> like I said, sure enough, and it just the 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 internet just ran with it, and still they they still are, they're still running with it. So that was kind of the killer that took a lot of wind out of his sails. Um. The interesting thing is, after the debate, I'm like, oh, man, Kamala, here's the thing. Kamala's a fucking train wreck, okay? Oh, yeah. Tra- like, the whole thing is a train wreck behind her right now. The whole, how she got in, the movement, everything. Even the way that looked, and me saying that Kamala didn't look that bad, that, like I said, that's not saying she looked good. Like, she, she still was Kamala. But the fact that Trump said that kind of took focus off her, didn't improve her at all, but just took focus off her. I and mean, like everyone went, wait, what, what the hell are you saying? Like they're turning the freaking frogs gay, like that thing. Like if you look into what he was talking about, it's like, oh yeah, that's that's a real thing that's happening. But when Alex Jones goes like off on a tangent and he's a character, he's a personality. He's a, they're turning the freaking frogs gay, and you go, what? <laughs> They're what? <laughs> I see where that might have been. Oh, wait, what moment for you? But for me, it was like, it was one of those things where it's like, as we just, to me, to me, I don't know, maybe if it's because of who we are, our personalities, the way this show has evolved, what it's become. We used to make jokes. Mm-hmm. And how many times have we gone back? Oh my God, they were just jokes, but now they're coming true. We still do make jokes, and it still fucking happens. Yeah. That to that, when he said that, that was one of those, great. Now it's actually, it reports it's going to happen, or it's already happening, and people are going to finally start coming forward with it. Yeah. I mean, there's that one case of that, like, s- s- that black guy with the red hoodie there, he was talking about it. Yeah. But it's one thing, and, like, I don't know if that's credible. I don't know if it was just staged. Like, it's hard to tell with the internet. Yeah. So, th- like, a lot of times, just sit back and wait. The problem is, is sitting back and waiting Granted, the truth will come out, but what's the saying? Like, the, a lie will make it around the globe by the time the truth laces up its, it's shoes. shoes. Yep. Like, that's the problem with sitting back and waiting. By the time it comes through and be like, oh, actually, there were some cases with dogs being eaten or what have you, whatever, wherever the city was. The problem is, is the meme's already created and it's already gone through this fucking circle. What, six days ago, five days ago? Mm-hmm. Like, it's already done. It's, it's already, like... It's it's going to take its toll, uh, wherever it's going to take its toll. Yeah. So it doesn't matter at that point. How many things have come out after the fact where it's like, oh, Trump's got 34 felonies. And then you look at it and be like, yeah, but this is all fucking bullshit. Like the, the, entire, the entire process, we've talked about it how many fucking shows. Like the oh, entire yeah. process is just complete and utter bullshit. And we've broken down how it's bullshit. But by then, 
everyone that's voting Democrat or whatever, they already have their talking point. Oh, like yeah. their arguments are all clickbait, headline, CNN, ABC, whatever talking points. Like no substance, all title. I just had this discussion yesterday, actually, on Facebook. There was a girl that I used to go to school with, and it was... I don't even remember the fucking context. I just... She said something about... I couldn't stop myself either. She said something about, oh, uh, uh, um, Trump being like a, a, a threat to democracy or something like that. And I, and I just simply went, oh, I'm very careful when I do these. I don't give any kind of inclination of what side I'm taking or whatever. I just simply said, elaborate. Like you're, you're stating these things. I'll see if I can <clears throat> pull it up. <laughs> I'm like, you're stating these things. Just elaborate. That's all. That's all I'm looking for. Who? Oh, uh, I can't use. The, show me the name, in case I know who they are. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like uh, whatever the conversation was is like, or you can vote for a convicted felon who is trying to destroy our uh, our democracy. That statement right there is every fucking headline over the last six or eight months on yeah. CNN, on ABC, on MSN. You know, it's the same bullshit. There's no substance. So I just said, please elaborate. And no response. There was there was one response um, from. So oh yeah, yeah, that's right. She did respond, and then after that, I had a rebuttal, and there was no response. Someone else did respond, and then deleted their comment just because. But their response is Trump, a person who committed various crimes and was found guilty on thirty-seven. He also tried to interfere with our electoral system and overturn the results of an election and help orchestrate an insurrection. Headline, 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 headline. Okay. Yep. On a daily basis, he talks about all the things he wants to do that endanger our democracy. Headline, and the various ways he can act as a dictator. Headline. Okay. These are all bold headlines what we've oh, seen yeah. all over. Okay. And then someone like. Uh, so, other person here just it kind of rebuttaled with the same opposite talking point headlines like uh our form of government isn't really a democracy it's constitutional republic true if we were a democracy the loudest voice would overshadow the rest and win then the government would have absolute power with a constitutional republic it's representative government where everyone has a voice true it's supposed I, to be yeah i honestly believe that the democratic platform is an imminent threat to our republic the evidence lies within the attacks on our constitution. The people only have power if they are armed, and the Democrats are constantly trying to disarm the population. All true. I said after that, I go, I'm fine, which I've brought up on the show a few times. I'm fine with prosecuting Trump. I'm 100% fine and behind it. If you're going to do that, fine, do that. But I said you better prosecute every other president from the last 30 years as well, because if Trump's crimes are worth this amount of time and money, then the justice system quotes is going to have a field day with Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Joe. Mm -hmm. Because if Trump, Trump's crimes are as serious as they claim they are, and even though, like I said, like the, the felony counts is like, this is, you can't fucking continuation of what crime. They never fucking, you yeah, know? They never. If that's that serious, then Bush, you know, the whole like, oh, all evidence points toward Iran, and then we go to Iraq. Yeah. Weapons of mass destruction, which weren't a thing, and it already has come out. I have the government fucking unsealed documents right over there. That's right out. All you have to do is look those up because those were unsealed. There were no weapons of mass destruction, so we lied to go into a fucking 20-plus year war. Cool. Yep. So there's that. How about when Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney was on the board of what? Hal Burton? Or no, en Enron? I Enron. Can't, yeah. He's on the board, and he gets elected to vice president takes like a what four million or six million dollar bonus from the oil company while he's in office as vice president that's not a fucking conflict of interest fuck you like is anybody home are the lights on like anything hi you i'm earth have we met i don't think so like that's the fucking problem though clinton how many fucking <laughs> oh god i mean clinton's Purs under oath <laughs> Begging blowjob. I mean, that's and then Ep, the whole Super Epstein thing. thing he's in a blue dress. It's a, a painting of him in a blue dress in Epstein's Island, or Epstein had it. I don't know where it is now. Yeah. 
And then Joe, I mean, we've covered that over the last two and a half fucking years, or whatever. Quid pro quo. It's like, well, if you don't like, uh, if you don't fire this prosecutor, then you're not getting the money. Like, come on. Yeah. Like everything that's happened in the last two and a half years. And Obama, as soon as he gets into office, like the biggest thing, he fucking drone uh, the drone strike in Syria. Like wrong target hits, kills American citizens. And innocent and, and, yeah, an innocent American citizen. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. But Trump's fucking felony counts. Fuck that guy. So if you're going to go after Trump, fine. Then fucking go after the rest of them. But they won't do that. Oh, and you notice well. how none of them open their mouth during the entire thing either. Because they know if they do, it's like everyone's going to go, oh, yeah, wait a minute. So that, that's why. And then there was a response. I don't even remember what it was. I should have screenshotted it. But as soon as I, they said, um, see if I can remember. Something along the lines of, um, you know, this all happened, but you're defending like a, a sexist or something like that. I don't know, but you're gonna say that all these other presidents are guilty of something, and they're like, "Okay, Quackenbush. Bush," and that was that. And all I all I said was like, "For the love of God, please educate yourself before you respond." Mm -hmm. And then the comment was deleted. <laughs> but that's just my point: is all all the talking points are bullet points headlines like no substance which is exactly the way kamala is running for her fucking her her presidency her presidential run that's what she's running on it's a sh it's a storefront you walk by and everything's glamorous it's the whole fucking window shopping thing you walk through the door and it looks like the fucking back rooms of the pc game there it's like oh wow there's nothing here drop ceiling and fucking carpet Like that's that's her platform, and that is exactly who, who everybody that supports her and that party. That is how they argue the same exact way. Headlines, no substance. But again, if you take the time, research things, figure things out, and be like, "Oh, uh, there's nothing here," or "This is corrupt," or "This doesn't quite," you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. There's six topics ahead because they're just like headline, next headline, next headline, next. So it's like after a while you're just like watching this fucking retarded train just like do a loop over and over. You're like, why do I why why do I even try to stop it? It's the it? snake eating its own tail. It really is. Somehow the snake's getting longer. That's an infinite loop playing the game of snake eating its own tail, but every time he eats it, it grows longer. That's the Democratic Party. <laughs> Fuck. Eating their own ass. <laughs> getting bigger. I eat ass and I don't get bigger. Ah, they're shitting themselves out. Where does it start? Did they did they eat their ass or shit themselves out? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> what a weird, what a weird conversation. <coughs> Wrong tube. <coughs> Are you gonna make it? Yeah. Jesus. I'm to swallow Louise. my spit. I ended up swallowing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I mean. What about the fact checkers? Did you see any of the TikTok, Facebook, YouTube for the debate for Kamala for both? For I mean, they were fact checking Trump live, like in the moment, and yeah. like I mean, that's going all the way back. That's where this whole conversation stems from. It's like they were fact checking Trump on the spot. They're eating our pets. Uh, there's no credible. But then Kamala, like I said, you're like. Trump said there's very fine people on both sides in regards to white supremacy, white nationalists, and everything. And there's been fucking video up the wazoo disproving that. And Snopes, like I said, the fact checkers, Snopes already said this is not true. That never happened. Trump never said that. But Kamala says it did at the debate. Not a fucking word was spoke. Nothing. Just let slide. The 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 army thing. Because at you know, this point, at this point, what it's coming down to is as much muckraking as she did. They are throwing anything and everything they can at the wall to see what sticks. Oh, yeah. That's it. Because they... It, 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 they throw it, it hits, it falls. Next thing. Headline, like you said, headline. Yeah. No. Headline. No. Headline. Well, that one's oh. running slower, so let's just run with that anyway. They're very fine look, people. Look, look, look. It's, 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 it's staying. It's Take it. on the wall. <laughs> That's exactly it. They put their hand up. Hold it. It's staying. Look, your hand's up there. No, it's not. My hand's not here. Gaslighting. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Welcome to the fucking democracy, everybody. How Let's... dare you? Like, how dare you <laughs> so, uh, label my hand? <laughs> yeah. It's not a hand. It identifies as... It, it identifies as nothing. It a has... Norwegian prostitute. <laughs> yes. My hand has self, self-worth self issues. <laughs> oh. That's what Norwegian prostitutes do, I think. I don't know. They probably have self-worth issues, too. So I guess daddy we're issues. both right. <laughs> Wait, they the, the were both right. The, they have daddy. We have daddy issues, or that we're both right. And in- the Norwegian prostitute hands that have daddy issues. Oh, okay. It's like a triple right, which is like going a left. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's one hundred percent true. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Three rights equal a left. Yeah. But four lefts equal a straight. Talking about, <laughs> but how many bees equal a whatever? Anyway, talking about we mentioned things and it comes true. The last time we had a show, when RFK Junior joined, yep, and we said, "Oh man, Tulsi joins." It was like two fucking days, days later. later. <laughs> yeah. no, I saw it. So I'm like, oh. you sent me the TikTok. I was like, oh god. Yeah, I'm like. So oh. then I actually fact checked the TikTok. You sent me. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, it was true. It was like, oh, the mm. fucking Avengers or something. What about the uh, mega hat on uh, Sleepy Joe B? I saw that, and I he that, put it up there. Like, yeah, he did, yeah, he put it on, and I mean, granted, it was just he was doing it just for like a gag kind of thing. But there again, all it takes in this day and age is that one shot. And there it was with Joe and his goofy ass fucking face with a MAGA hat on. And, and people were like, oh, you trying- take that off. Why? Because you don't like Trump? No, because I don't want the right to turn into the left. <laughs> well, honestly, I expect it. Give it 15 years. We'll be fucking sitting here. Rag it on the left. Yeah, we'll rag it on the right. Yeah, we'll be like, well, here we are again. <laughs> I, you really, I really hope we are still doing this in 15 years. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I have central air by then. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking Richie Rich. Let's put our arms up next to each other. Who's got more white privilege? You. Why don't you have central air yet? Yeah, I know. Because it fucking costs like, was it like 10 fucking grand or something like that? Fuck me. Isn't one white privilege card good for like $50,000? It might be. I'll see if I can cash a little bit of it in. It's like a retirement. Just kind of dip into it. Damn it. Dip into it. Yeah, yours is only worth like eight. <laughs> Bucks. Well, at least I can get a soda and a cigar. <laughs> yes. There you go. You can get a one liter. <laughs> Hell yeah, white privilege. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so 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 he's got Tulsi on his team now. So now there's Tulsi, there's Vivek. Oh, I want Tulsi on my team. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Don't even deny it. She's like Sindel. She's got that white streak going on. Yeah. <laughs> I I would I would I would wobbly H her with you. Just saying, Tulsi, I love you. <laughs> Hey, wait, no. I was just kidding. <laughs> we get swatted. <laughs> We're not even streaming. God like, damn it. How'd you even do this? This sucks. How the phones are get listening. Get into a car, drive for 27 wow. hours straight. Mm, I gotta pee. Speaking of the phones are listening. Finally get there 27 hours later. <coughs> put hoods over our head. Oh, God, I can't see. Oh, take the hood off. We're in a white room. Tulsi? White privilege. <laughs> oh, we're doing anal. I am so down with that. Shh. Not that anal. <laughs> Granny, no. <laughs> no, daddy, no. <laughs> Spe- uh, what? I don't remember what the fuck I just said. I don't oh. Know. oh, speaking of our phones are listening. Yes. <clears throat> you, you have to look into this, but you might have, you might be able to have a little bit of, uh, be the recipient of, uh, whatever comes with this lawsuit against Google, because Google was selling off incognito information oh. for like the last what eight, ten, or twelve years. So every time you're like, oh, I'm in incognito mode, they'll never know anything. Well, that's bullshit. 
Because there's a lot. The most they're going to learn from me is I have an infatuation with five foot five to five foot seven brunettes with big asses who love sex <laughs> and get stuck in washing machines a lot. That's all they're going to find out. Bro, just like literally lean back. Like, like, what, like, like, uh, uh, what Ludacris said. <laughs> no, no, lean back. No, that's uh, Fat Joe. Is it Fat Joe? My V and niggas don't dance, they just pull up the pants. That's for me. I just, I just, away. I, I lean back. I lean back. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was stand up. Yeah. There's so many fucking directions. When remember when we talked, remember during Tiki Time, we talked about what if Ludacris had baby body with arms from stand up, head from. What was it? Well, in, in Stand Up, he had that giant fucking hair. Yeah, and the giant foot. No, not, that was Move. When move, I, No, that bitch. was the same thing. No, he goes, Stand Up. Stand Up. When I move, you move. Oh, and then the bathroom. Yeah. Beep, beep. What the fuck? He had the giant arms and uh. Yeah. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, no. Yeah. Did he have giant arms in that, too? Oh, Why does he have, like, giant fucking appendages and everything and every... <laughs> I know. He had a giant fucking nose in one of them. <laughs> giant ears in another. No, he's not Jewish. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I knew where that joke was going before he even said it. <laughs> big nose, big lips. Wait, no, I don't know. What is... I don't even know. <laughs> big feet. Looks like a 1950s color cartoon a, from Looney Tunes. No, this is a freak show now. <laughs> Apparently, you never watched the 50s, 60s cartoons of Looney Tunes. 50s and 60s? Oh, when they had, like, blackface in the 40s and 50s? Looney the Tunes? Big lips, the big nose, the big yeah, feet, the they had, like That was, like, blackface, 100%. Yeah. Crazy. Like, they were so fucking... It was, it was colored black. It was the wildest shit. The 50s were crazy. I mean, they come across as, like, oh, we respected women, even though, like, the Rat Pack was slapping bitches left right. and right, and they had blackface on TV for kids. <laughs> the fifties are wild. Shut up, kids. What the fuck? Don't care. Um, what was I just gonna look up? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Dear God. Um, right, Google. You do, the you do the research on that. I'm going okay. to the research. Well, here it is. You got a pen. Hold on. You got a pen and paper? Google will settle a $5 billion lawsuit over tracking incognito. Code. You are not even close enough to your mic. I'm not watching the volume jump, jump at all. It's right here. I'm, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had your bag to it. Now speak now. Speak now. Oh, yeah, good sound, I guess. I mean, it's, it's sort of. Well, that could be YouTube. No, I was quiet. Oh, oh there's a change. Really? <laughs> like. <laughs> That's a low blow. The ref says keep the hands up. <laughs> and the ref takes a point. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so this <laughs> I'm listening. This is a uh, this is on uh, Reddit, and Reddit's always fun. So oh god, yeah, there's a five billion dollar lawsuit for tracking incognito users. <laughs> for the first comment here is nice, another two dollar class action lawsuit. I really respect Twitter, Meta, Google, and Snapchat for the cumulative ten dollars I've received from my privacy violations over the last decade. <laughs> hey, thanks for the fucking dollar. <laughs> Yeah, you stop and think about it. I mean, yeah. 50 million people use incognito mode. $5 billion. What's that, like? Five bucks a piece? Ten bucks a piece? Oh, for God's sakes. Get is it all you have to do is save up enough <laughs> for a time machine, travel back to 1986, and use that $10 to buy a 1,000 shares of Microsoft. Bam! You've now got $376,000, which... <laughs> Which is probably a lot less than you spent on the time machine, but the principle of the thing is important, right? <laughs> I love Reddit. Reddit's like slowly become one of my favorite fucking like social Reddit media too. things. Yeah, I got the Reddit app. Um. <laughs> oh, 
Let's see. Oh my god. What? Hold on. Giant. What do you do? Oh, beer. okay. <laughs> Stand up. So here we go. This is from April 1st of this That's year. That's a huge fucking beer. Yeah. Google to delete. This is from uh, NPR.org. Google to delete search data of millions who used incognito mode. <clears throat> Google will destroy the private browsing history of millions of people who use incognito mode in its Chrome browser as part of a settlement filed to federal court on Monday in a case over the company's secret tracking of web activity. <laughs> <laughs> For years, Google simply informed users of Chrome's internet browser that, quote, you've gone incognito, and now you can browse privately when the supposed untraceable browsing option was turned on without saying what bits of data the company has been harvesting. Yet, according to the 2020 class action lawsuit, the tech giant continued to scrape searches by hovering up, uh, hoovering up data about users who browse the internet in incognito mode through advertising tools used by websites grabbing potentially embarrassing searches of millions of people. <laughs> Google then uses data to measure web traffic and sell ads, basically going, hey, fuck you, trying to, you like watching rabbits fuck a horse, you fucker. <laughs> Google has made itself an unaccountable trove of information so detailed uh and expensive that Google Orwell could never have... Dr oh, yeah, Google. <laughs> that George Orwell, it might as well be Google Orwell at this point, could never have dreamt, <laughs> dreamed it. Uh, wrote wrote uh, lawyer Mark Mayo, another plaintiff's attorney who sued the company. As the suit was pending, Google changed the splash screen of incognito mode to state that the websites, employers, and schools and internet service providers can view browsing activity in incognito mode but under the deal google will have to state that the company itself can also track browsing during incognito mode so basically it doesn't fucking do anything yeah. <laughs> so you might as well just be like fucking whatever <laughs> in addition when users are using incognito mode google will be default block third party uh, will by default block third party companies from tracking people's so called cookies which is how advertisers glean information about a person's search history. <clears throat> In a statement, Google spokesman Jose uh, Castanda said the company is happy to delete old technical data that was never associated with an individual and has never used and that was never used for any form of personalization. So basically shit that didn't matter to them anyway. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like they have, like, stacks of money. It's like, oh, uh, you stole all that. Oh, shit. Um, I'll throw this old pillow away. We'll call it even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so your, uh, your incognito thing was just fucking pointless. I'm entitled to $10. <laughs> what if you just randomly get... See, I never use it because... I don't really... I mean, I search a lot of shit up for this show. A lot of stuff on, like, you know, government websites and the DOJ and things like that. Maybe I should have used it, but uh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I don't know. We'll find out when we're in the gulag. I'll let you know what I'm in for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am looking forward to the gulag. I'll let you know what I'm in for. Because I was searching for the fucking pet thing, of all things. The all pet right, thing. so. All right, what, what, do you, what were you looking up? Refresh my memory here. The giant body oh, yeah. parts for Ludacris. So, in stand-up. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's the first thing is a penis? <laughs> in uh, in, in stand-up, he's got the baby body. Mm -hmm. So, imagine the baby body with the giant foot feet. Right. The giant hair and a giant beer. Yeah. And in Get Back, he's Wait, got the giant arms. Did, did the baby have the beer? No, at one point he oh, right. like tele can tell it like he uses the force to bring a beer to him, and then he's like drinking it. <laughs> it's like a fucking desert. <laughs> I and miss I miss Ludacris. Like why? Did I hope the times when they're in. <laughs> he time stamped them. <laughs> time stamps. Uh, Wait. So what was the point of this? Could you imagine? Remember? Oh, remember one of the Tiki episodes we had where. Um, 
we were talking about all the crazy shit, like the big, he had big arms. Could you imagine? Yeah, if they we, put all those pieces the, together. The like, baby body with a giant afro, with the giant arms, the huge feet, and he's got a big beard in one of the arms. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> I don't remember what we were trying to figure out. I don't know. I just know. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what we should do? Should bring a little aspect of the old attic days back. We should create, you remember we had the question wall. We had all the drawings in a circle. Yes. And you'd ask the wall a question and start somewhere. And then you'd incorporate your answer. You by you tell a story starting at that picture and incorporate it. And by the time you got to the end of that story, there was your answer to your question. Yep. We should bring, bring Oh my that God. Back. I think there was like, what, 18 or 20 fucking pictures. There was a lot. I never counted. I don't know. It was, it was enough. But we should, we should do that again. <laughs> Let's ask a question. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, so Tulsi, Google. Oh, James Earl Jones Tulsi passing. Porn. Yeah. Darth Vader died. What, 93? So it wasn't yeah. like it was a shocker. Oh, God, no. Although I didn't. I, like. And now there's. Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill left. Well, half of Mark Hamill anyway. His brain's kind of rot. <laughs> yeah, he's become he's become awfully Fisher near the end. Yeah, he. Well, no, I, I he's always been very left wing, left leaning. Oh no, no, no! I just meant some of the crazy shit he says and does. Yeah, he's yeah. He's he is kind of gone. Like he's, it's almost like Luke Skywalker is trying to break through Mark Hamill. Like, Mark Hamill's like, I'm t fighting my hardest. Yeah, it, it, he is kind of... Someone put a someone put a picture out of, like, all the original cast. And you know how they gray out the ones that have passed? Yeah. They had, like... Uh, they uh, force... Yeah, they had, like... Silhouette them. No, it wasn't even that. It was just grayed out pictures. <clears throat> and oh, was, I've seen one where they... Like, yeah, I've seen that, too. Yeah. Same concept. But they had all of them, and they had, like, Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew, and... Um, yeah, the guy who played R2-D2, the guy who played uh, uh, Chewie. No, uh... Oh, Chewie's still alive. No, that was Peter Mayhew. Oh, that yeah, was, oh, sorry. Uh, he, who played R2-D2? Um, um... Oh, my God. Not Warwick Davis. Actually, I think he did later, but, uh... He's dead, though. Warwick Davis? Isn't he dead? Did he die? No. Oh, what was no? What was uh, Mini Me? What was his name? That was Vern something. Or yeah, other. yeah. He, sorry. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think Warwick Davis is dead because he was just in Willow, the Disney show. The oh yeah. That that was Warwick. He played Wicket. Yes, he, Willow. Yeah, he played Wicket in uh, Return of the Jedi. Um. Oh, shit. I cannot remember the name of R2. Um, Hold on. Who played R2-D2 in the original Star Wars? As soon as you say it. Jimmy, or Kenny Baker, yeah, Jimmy Kenny Baker. V, and nope. Ben... <clears throat> Kenny Baker. That's, uh, that's, that's the main one. That's, he that passed. Was, yeah, he did. That's what I'm talking... Jimmy V's passed, too. Um, maybe, but Kenny Baker was the, like the one that was, I guess most. Oh no, he's still alive. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and they had David Krause who, who played Darth Vader, like who was the actual person, not the voice, but the two they had, they had Harrison Ford and then they had Mark Hamill, but they had Mark Hamill's brain force ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark. I still have to meet the guy. Yeah, I mean, what I, I, what I wouldn't do to sit down and have a coffee with Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, yes, but the problem is, is Star Wars is just bastard, it's just fucking obliterated that. I've said it before, and I, I just don't care about Star Wars now. Oh no, 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 no! I would sit down with them to literally like. I want to meet two of the most iconic people that helped define my childhood. Here's the thing. Like, both of them, more so Harrison Ford, seems like the last... They, like, 
oh, I wouldn't want to talk about Star Wars. Just bullshit. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool to bullshit. Like, what I mean. when I met uh, Kane Hodder, yeah. like, it, he seems like he'd be awesome. Just bullshit. Just st- Hollywood stories. Just whatever. You know, just bullshit about Yeah, stuff. that's what I would want to do. Yeah. Obviously. Because in that conversation, you're going to get some crazy ass stories from behind the scenes. Oh, we ran a train on Carrie Fisher back in fucking Mighty 1982. <laughs> we, we had her all. So we actually we were taking. We had her suspended upside down. And we were taking turns spinning her and poking her. And the machine <laughs> broke and she landed on her head. From that day on, <laughs> <laughs> she fucking force pushed her way out of the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just to sit down and bolt. Yo, like, huge fan of all your work. Yeah, I think one of the first questions I would be, what's the craziest thing you can remember from Hollywood? Up till to this point. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, what, what, what's, like what, what was your lifestyle like? Like, did you ever, you ride motorcycles? Like, when I got my, when I, tattoos by Drew. Mm-hmm. When I got my Drew tattoo. I looked at him, I go, do it. I, don't, I go, this is what I want, but if you don't want to do it, whatever you want to give me, I just want to sit down and talk to you, man. Like, yeah. yeah. Get to little know a little bit about you. you dude, you, dude, the guy had been in magazines. He'd been in the fucking news, like as one of the greatest artists. Mm-hmm. Like that was awesome, and I got tattooed by him. So it'd be like sitting down. I sat down, and had a cup of coffee with Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford. What did you guys talk about? How running trains back in the eighties was great until the AIDS pandemic. Lines and trains <laughs> until the AIDS pandemic. Yeah, I started. <laughs> Oh, I was definitely great. the caboose in that train. Yeah, wink. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. That. It would be cool to to um, oh god, to actually bullshit with them. I'm glad I know what a real train is now. What? I never told you that. Oh yeah, you told me that story oh, yeah. before. Yeah. For the years, you're like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't so. mind being the caboose in that one at least. <laughs> uh, Alexa, I guess they. Switched it, but Alexa joined Team Kamala for a Yeah, I heard there. about that. Yeah. Well, why should I vote for Trump? I can't. Fuck you. As a <laughs> electronic device, homo, I can't give an opinion. No, no, no. Why should I vote for Kamala Harris? And, of course, the first thing I said, well, the reason you should, you know, because yeah. she's a woman of she's color. She's a woman of color, yeah. I'm like, and. Rewind 20 years, 10 years ago. I'm not black. Please, it, somebody. You know, I haven't. There's videos out there, there still. Yes. See, I haven't looked. At, it was like to me, it was, it was such a moot point. Like I understand why everyone's kind of latching onto it, but like, I, I don't fucking care, because there's so many other way bigger issues that I have a problem with in this whole fucking scheme. That like, well, she's black, then she's not black. I'm like, I, I see that, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Like, I don't care whether she's like, I'm this, I'm that, I'm both, I'm neither. Like, what the fuck ever. Let's talk about her, like, Marxist ideals and her saying she wants to control prices and shit. Like, that's a big fucking issue. I don't give a shit whether she thinks she's a Martian. What the fuck ever. Are you looking for it? Yeah. Find it. <clears throat> like, I just, yeah, I, I, I just don't think I care enough to really kind of jump on that train <laughs> not the 80s train either um, yeah so but I think it was once people started picking up on the whole Alexa thing Google was quick to be like fuck we gotta change it now or yeah. whoever I, however they got that got through or whatever um, algorithm they did to have that developed i don't know if that slipped through someone put that in there which it's google so you never fucking know but evidently they switched it after so it said the same thing for both so if you ask if you ask alexa why should i vote for trump well kamala is a woman of color and (laughs) (sighs) oh yeah then the whole like they had the respect for fallen uh, servicemen and women from Afghanistan. And Trump showed up, and everyone's like, "Well, Trump wasn't supposed to be there." This and that, and even though the family members invited him to the service, and they actively went out and said, "Like, no, we wanted him there." 
Yeah. But then the media was just cutting Trump down. I was like, well, why was he there? It's like, because it's respectful. <laughs> Joe and Kamala were nowhere to be seen. What is this thing? Triple. Hold on a minute. I think I remember exactly. This is from like a couple weeks ago. Ah, yes. Eastern equine encephalitis. You hear about this? Triple E? Yeah, I did hear something. Like, this is the new fucking pandemic we're going to get it to. Except this is actually. could be potentially serious. (laughs) Like, you know, actually dangerous. For healthy people? Yeah. Uh, of course. You can't find it now. They scrubbed that shit real quick. I I could probably find something if I really look for it. But symptoms of triple E. This is... <clears throat> Eastern equine or equine encephalitis, encephalitis. Symptoms. High fever, muscle pain, altered mental status, headache... Uh, meningeal irritation, photophobia, and seizures. Okay, so the last few is kind of getting fucking crazy. So basically, any woman going through menopause. <laughs> High fever, hot flashes, body check. No, no. <laughs> Muscle pains, always talking about being achy and sore. Altered check. mental status. Altered mental status. So, photophobic. anyway, headache. Photophobic. <laughs> well, headache. Headaches. Pff. Anytime the husband wants sex. Uh. Seizures. Second baby syndrome. What is, what is that? <sighs> oh, hey, come on. I sent that to you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Oh, did I ever show you this one? <laughs> oh, geez, she's got, she's got triple E. <laughs> uh, I ever show you this one? Magic. Should I? I probably shouldn't read that. Not for YouTube. No. <laughs> YouTube be like, they will fall out of their fucking seat once they say that. <laughs> just ask a magic eight ball the most horrific way to end. No, nah, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what some of Just like that. <laughs> Here we go. It's funny that I make that joke because, uh, never mind. I'll tell you that off camera. Okay. <laughs> Google. YouTube. It's it's all politically, cor- somewhat politi- politically correct here. Uh, just don't watch it. Save yourself the trouble. Demonetize us. There, it's not like we're making money anyway. I know, right? <laughs> this is, this is, uh. This is the thing I was talking about, going back to the whole pet eating thing. Well, Trump says immigrants are eating cats and dogs and ducks in Ohio. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating eating the pets of the people that live there. David Muir of ABC said that the city manager of Springfield, Ohio, says there's no evidence of this. But there actually are multiple reports that this is happening, including from this man who says he witnessed it in Springfield. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like... There's also 911 calls reporting groups of men capturing and taking away entire flocks of geese. And I saw that. I'm like, yeah, this has got to be reported. So how, how many geese did they have? Uh, they each had one. But David Muir says there's no evidence. He's not saying that they haven't found evidence because ABC News sent a crew to Springfield to find out. Instead, he says no official has publicly agreed with that statement. As journalists, we should take the step of investigating first rather than deciding that until an official agrees, it's not happening. 
Yeah, I saw that one. <clears throat> so, it is our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Police report as many as seventy-five percent of. The people they've arrested in Midtown Manhattan for assault, robbery, and domestic violence are illegal migrants. Police have tracked down a killer whose crimes spanned the country. Rachel Marin was dragged from a hiking trail in Maryland where she was raped and murdered. Police say Brandon Ortiz Vite used a handgun he bought illegally to shoot Ruby Garcia multiple times on Friday. The prime suspect charged in Lake and Riley's murder was 26-year-old Jose Antonio Abara. He illegally entered the United States back in 2022. The Texas grand jury indicted Rafael Govea Romero. He's accused of attacking 16-year-old Lizbeth Medina by repeatedly hitting her head and stabbing her. <laughs> so let's get our notions together about what we're talking about. <sighs> yeah, so... It's almost like when the statement of they're letting criminals and mental patients in. Maybe there's something to it. <laughs> Maybe. You know? Oh, yeah. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe it's just a bunch of bullshit. I don't know. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what? Oh, no, folks. What's he doing? Put my cock right on this <laughs> Oh, yeah. Take a look at it. Yes. So, I... Yes! I That's awesome. I made a book. I did a book. It's, uh, there's a video already on the channel, but whatever. The Necronomicon. And the many verses there within. And then some. It's got <clears throat> the Necro from... Part one, part two, AOD. What? Or three. Whatever. Army of Darkness. Um, Army of Darkness, huh? <laughs> Army of Blowjobs. Ah! The um, book said no. Too late. Um, I like that. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, I did like I couldn't do it the proper way, which is usually the leather folds over yeah. into it. So I had to kind of make shift, so I just went like like I do belts. Um Don't read me, copy. <laughs> Um, yeah, AOD. It's got the remake, 2013 remake. It's got R Evil Dead Rise. It's got the Necro from Creep Show. It's got the Necro from the Inked in Blood and Pla in Flesh. The PlayStation One, uh, Evil Dead, Hail to the King. It's got the Necro from that. <sighs> what else? It's got the Lost Pages from Two. Isn't that's the Triforce symbol? Uh, and it's all well, it's over. Upside down. Yeah, it's all over. So apparently it's a gay. Well. <laughs> oh, look, wait, turn up. <laughs> yeah, it's in a couple places. One, two, three, four, actually. And then, it, but it also has like uh, different other books from other you know franchises. Nice. I wrote the chapters in Sumerian through most of them. Then there's other like Babylonian. Uh, Egyptian and ancient Greek, which is basically Roman numerals. Good job on the double side, man. And the paper's fucking feels cool. Yeah, man. it's co it's deckled edge, 150 GPS cotton paper, so it's heavy. <laughs> Do not wipe your ass with this book. Yeah, I don't. Or you to. will ink it with blood. I still have to go through rectal blood, and so I still have to go through and treat. I I treated like a third. Of the book, the pages, so they don't like wear the um, print on them. But yeah, there's a couple of things I would change next time I do them. But for the first fucking book I've ever done, I'm like, ah, not too bad. All right, I'm I'm pleased with it. I already got people asking me to if I'd sell it, like on some leather craft sites I'm on. They're like, oh, you selling this? I'm like, no, unless someone throws a ridiculous number at me. I'm like, fucking take it. I'll do another one. <laughs> Because I have ideas of like what I want to do and things I want to take out of this and a bunch of things I want to add to it. But yeah, how many pages in total? I think I think it's three hundred and sixty even, like front and back. Okay, front and back. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure because I think it was like 178 or 180 or 82, something like that. Single pages. You're right. The Triforce does appear a lot. It's fucking everywhere, especially in the old like one and two. It's all over. Once you get into like part three, and especially like the remake, it really kind of disappears. Like this more quirky yeah. print, like doesn't really show up. Maybe a little bit here and there, but oh, nice <clears throat> deadites. Yeah, once you get into like you guys can't read it, but I I, I understand all this. <laughs> yeah, I don't read it. Kanda, <laughs> Kanda, Kanda. Panama. <laughs> <laughs> I know it says had enough. I'm not stupid. At least now. No. It is Panama. Fuck you. I'm not doing that. That's the name of the song. Fuck you. No. You used to always think it said had, had enough. enough. Yes. Yeah. Had enough. I'm like, what? <laughs> Did you ever sleep with her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just listen to the... <laughs> Till today, folks. Is she even alive anymore? I don't, I don't know. know. Like, where? But you said you'd never. That's like a twenty-some her. year fucking thing. I that twenty-year joke. <laughs> She's probably like passed out on a street corner for I don't know. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance? <laughs> I rewatched part two a few weeks ago when I was working on this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I I thought the remake like, of one, but kind of. Reimagined. It was re yeah, it was just yeah. a rehash. And I'm like I, and, but it was overly dramatic. It yeah, was great. It was well, it, well no, the problem is is it felt like they were it felt like Jeff Daniels and Jack Jeff yeah, Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey were impersonating oh. themselves. You're talking about um, Dumb uh, and Dumber Two. Dumb and Number Two. I thought you were talking about Army of Darkness. Oh, Evil no, Dead no. Two. So that was just a no, rehash. Army of Darkness was three. Yeah, no, no, no. I meant to say Evil Dead 1 was Evil Dead 1. Yeah. Evil Dead 2 was an overdramatic reimagining of well, 1 yeah, the and fir- extended. The first 15 minutes the first fifteen minutes was a um, a retelling because they didn't own the rights to the first movie. Yeah. So they basically Sam Raimi had to retell the first movie to get you up to speed and so they could basically yeah. owned that and then they went crazy fun with it yeah and i'm, I'm and happy they did yeah it was awesome yes. i love it actually that's what i like so we re we um i rewatched it but she watched it for the first time we watched two i said you don't really need to see one for two because they basically give you a retelling yeah, you don't really watered the, down you don't see the tree rape scene no they took that right out <laughs> that's a good scene <laughs> Oh, but um, so we watched two, and it was just gory, over the top fun. Yes. So, but yeah, they um. Triforce. <laughs> Triforce. This whole thing, like putting all these different books together, kind of came. There was I don't know if I showed you the review, the one guy that had the book, and um, I think YouTube's still up. Yeah. You, you and. I saw it, and I'm like, well, that's kind of cool, but. Yeah, it's the the, the, the possession. That's uh, the, let's yep. see. Triforce. Oh, we're done now. So this is. Um, Dude, this came out really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. This is the yeah, one you should be. Where I got, see, like I'm, I was, I saw this, and when he was going through it, I'm like, that's leather bound, that one too. But I didn't like the tool job. I thought it yeah, looked, no, I, that's it, I remember you showing me this one. Yes. Yeah, it looked kind of plain, and it kind of reminded me of like a jack o' lantern. Yeah. And I'm like, I bet you I could like run with this and do something with it. So, that's. A, I got the idea, but when he was going through the pages, like they look old, but straight edges. Yeah, yeah no. it's very straight edge. It's very clean. Like when he turns it, you can see that like the light reflect off the pages. Like they're very clean, sharp. So it's it literally is. This just, is better. 
imaged. It just looks old, but it doesn't have the feel. This does. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm being careful with these pages. But that's actually, cause there's one of the girls in the district office, because I was talking about doing it. It's like, when you get it done, bring it in. So they were all looking, they were all looking through it. But they're like, this actually has a feel. Like She's like, I'm being careful turning it. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I, I just mean, said. This thing's durable as fuck, but it does have that feel. Like, I don't want to. But when, the problem I had is, like, right, right here you see, that is a picture from the remake 2013 and that i don't know what that's from but if you go through this when he's turning these pages that's from part two this is from i have no idea what but like that's from i think this is from either part three or hg love or uh yeah hg lovecraft this is i have no idea what but they're all different that's from the remake that's from part two all the pages are just like sporadic through it yeah, and like i want yeah well i'm watching this and maybe that's what this guy wanted but it was driving me nuts like i wanted them in chapters oh, basically Evil Dead, the remake yeah this is the remake yeah. uh i wanted them in chapters basically yeah yes i remember when they're looking through the book you can see boobs <laughs> <laughs> fuck you don't judge Yeah, so some of them you're like, did I skip pages? No, 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 no. I just, I, I, I was, um, th I'm getting a, a Stargate feel from that. Yeah, actually, I just rewatched that too, like a month ago or With, so. With uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, that was a good movie. It was all right. I, I yeah, think I so. remembered it better than when I rewatched it, but. Dude, this fucking came up nice. Yeah, the paper cost me. A lot. About a hundred bucks, about thirty-four dollars for seventy-five sheets, and I got three three packs. Not the whole three packs, but probably two and a half, two and two thirds. I like how the pages are like different sizes and yeah. stuff for each one. It's not all trim. But well, that's what I meant by it gives you this. Like right here. Yeah, like they were pages that were just ripped. And then glued in quick yeah. to add to the next thing. Yeah, but um, yeah, it turned out well. I'm happy with it. There's one thing though, like when you close the book, when I was when I attached the spine or the cover to the pages, I put that piece of granite that I do tooling on on top of it to keep it closed to just kind of like squish it and the pages shifted up like that much like all the pages and I'm going to do some work on the back and I'm going to close it on the bottom because it was kind of over they are both sides even when I close it though the bottom was flush I'm like son of a bitch and I look at the top and it's like hanging over like that I'm like it's funny though it's like the whole book's supposed to look Rough, and that made me go, damn it! <laughs> Try force. Yeah. <laughs> you realize I'm a little therapy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. And ever, you're just gonna have to bear. This is the part where, if you really want to know, actually, what I could do while you're looking through this is I could put the, the. Actually, what I should do is just flip through the pages. <laughs> And I'll just put that on screen as you're going through yeah. it. So, like, as you turn, the page will turn, and they'll know exactly what you're looking I'm at. I'm going to take a look at this again. I'm not complaining. <laughs> no, I can do it myself. I'll do it myself. <laughs> look, bro. I'm tossing my own salad. Oh, Evil Dead. Uh... This is still the remake. Yeah, this the is remake. Still the there's remake. a lot of pages in the yes. remake, and there's a lot of pages in the H.G. Wells section. I think there was like the remake had <sighs> actually. I'll tell you exactly how many they had. I still have all the files for where is it? <laughs> um, which one was it? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's regen. See, I didn't actually... Regen didn't get uh, put into it. Um, that's one that uh, I want to put into it. Like, there's these pages that didn't get put in. Why not? Just, I didn't do it. But those, like, if I do a second one... This is from the P PlayStation 2 game. Well, yeah, the sequel to whatever one. Like, Fistful of Boomstick. That was a good game. So, those next time, those will get put in. Oh, there it is. There's all the pages. Okay, so this is most of them that I have in there. Lost pages. Hail of the King. Regen. First one. Oh, Bombacron. I got this too. This is. I didn't put these in either. This, this is from. I, I have no idea what this is from. It's kind of more of a joke thing. But I was like, ah. So I just got them. Um, off uh, Elder Props. Elderprops.com. They have. All these. Some of them are free. Some of them are like five bucks. But I'm like, well, the guy yeah, well, like went rise. through and did all the art for him. So I, you know, chuck five dollars his way, and then end up getting the full like book worth. Just added to it. Nice. But um, where is it? Oh, uh, two, three, four, five, nine. Rise. Where is? That's Oh, there it is. The okay, so the twenty thirteen had seventy two pages, and Evil Dead Rise had thirty nine pages. And mine, I added a few pages to it. Another one I have to find is Ash vs. Evil Dead because there was some different art in that one too. Yeah. But that one, like, it was harder. For, I couldn't find anything complete. I found like little sections here and there. But the like the whole thing was just couldn't find it. Nice. Um ninth gate, what do you want right now? Oh that's a rise. Rise. Oh you got ninth gate? The yep, yeah, I got ninth <clears throat> gate in there. The it's the what the nine gates of the black what's the name of the book? The name of the book is the nine gates of the Shadow Kingdom, I think. That's the name of the book. So I just I just have art that was in the book. Well, you've seen it before, but I corrected it because I don't know if I showed you when I had those printed out. <laughs> like a fucking idiot, I'm looking through the pictures. I, I had them in the book, and I'm looking I'm like there's big fucking Roman numerals on, out of fucking order. It started with like two, the next page is like seven, and then it was like three. I'm like son of a bitch. Like how the hell did I miss that? So I had to reprint them in order. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what else? The Black Zodiac from Thirteen Ghosts. That's in oh, there. Oh, nice. Elder Props, the website that I got these from. He had his own custom ones, so I was like, "Yeah, I'll take those too. Let's throw those in." Then there's all the pages, like the twenty some pages that I made. That that's at the very end of it. I threw that at the end. <clears throat> but you saw the old ones, but I completely redid all of them. You like, did all of them are redone. Oh yeah. So they more fit with the book. That's from Hail to the King. Oh, so this is different. Yep. Triforce Forces back. Yep, that's uh, from the original. <laughs> the original shack. Mm -hmm. Yes. That looks upside down, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like looking at it, and it was throwing me off. I'm like, wait, before I bound this all together, I, I would flip the page, flip the page, flip it. I'm like, what the fuck? But so I had to go through, and I like doubled up, like checked with all the different uh, script with different, like multiple pages. I'm like, no, that's, that's the way it is. That's right. <laughs> it's supposed to be upside down. You're not supposed to see that as a skull. <laughs> Dude. 
Ooh, yeah, but I kind of like. I know she was like, "You gonna sell them?" I'm like, the pages where I got them, they say right on them, "These you can use these, print them out and sell them." Like whatever books you put together, like he just has it so you can't take the PDF files and then sell the PDF files. Yeah, he's like, "These are four books." Yes. So I'm like, "All right, so if I want to, I can sell all these." So. Uh, I'm like, well, I threw it out there just to gauge interest. And like I said, I put in that one website and it's fucking blown up. Like, it's just a lot of people are all over it. And a few people are asking how much. And Jason Wilder, remember? Yep. He on a YouTube, I put it out there. He goes, dude, I want one. Yeah, he follows us. He follows podcasts. He wants to come on it's the next time he comes through. But Where that's is he all. living now? I think he's still up in Massachusetts or Vermont or wherever the hell. I think. No don't quote shit. me. But yeah, he's like, dude. I'm like, well, let me know next time you're down. I go, this is, we usually we film on like weekends, so. Um, but yeah, he's like, oh, what I was his girlfriend's name? The old one. The one he was with. Trisha. Trisha. Yeah. The one I supposedly buried my dick in, <laughs> according to Destiny. Your Destiny. That was a weird crew. <laughs> uh, um. I mean, I, yeah, please. <laughs> I don't even care if you cut that out. Uh, uh, um, yeah, so he's like, he wants, he wants one. So, the the Lovecraft pages. There's some in here. I'm like, that's way too dark, and like, it just doesn't show up well. So there's some things I'd want to change. See if I can find like this one. I think is fantastic. Um, this page I thought is, if I could get all the pages to look like that that would be great yeah but there's a like i said this is one i threw together just be like one it was a test run for the entire process because i've never done a book so <laughs> we like, oh yep oh we're gonna, god we're, we're gonna find out <laughs> i see what you mean like these aren't too bad but there's like this one like you, yeah. you can't fucking see what's going on there. But for the rest of the book, I mean, this is, would be the only complaint I have. Yeah. And there's, I purposely left. I could have easily just, at the end of each one, if there was an empty page, I purposely left it just in case I wanted to go back and do my own art in it. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, you know what? Leave some empty pages in there. Add your own incantations. Yeah, add like a big old dick kind of. <laughs> oh god. Incantation <laughs> worked. I'll just put an arrow that goes to the next page and keeps looping and like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I've told that joke before on this show. We're not Shame of you if you don't remember it. Yep, sucks to be you. <laughs> and this is all Lovecraft stuff. I, I was like, well, I got to add Lovecraft because this, this whole thing is his idea and creation. So yeah. he created the Necronomicon. The lore behind it is... Holy, I did so much research on this book before and during making it. Like, I was listening to things as I was, like, putting them together, making pages and just, you know, looking for stuff. There, the book itself is very scarce in, like, the information in Lovecraft's writings. He doesn't say much. doesn't describe much about it. Yeah. But <clears throat> the lore that has been created after the fact is fucking... So deep. I'm like, jeez. Like, the Evil Dead thing is like a pin yeah. in this large room. It's, like of it's crazy, bucket. yeah. It's like, yeah, raindrop in the bucket. So, like, the Evil Dead one is, the way I describe it, is like the cartoony version of it. Like, the fun cartoon. Like, the lore behind it is like, jeez, it's, it's crazy. It's a thorough. Nice. But then I also got looking into like it. Just, this took me down rabbit holes. Like I was looking at like uh, the the um, was it the Giga Codex, which is, but those are like actual well actual books. Like that book is what they said it was like thirty six inches tall. You didn't put the ninth gate in this, did you? Yeah, that's in there. Oh, okay. These are all Lovecraft, but it was just art, so I threw it in. That oh, what's the story behind that? I think I, what is that one? That's Lovecraft. Alex hand drawn. 
Oh, I can't remember what the hell. There's a whole story behind this picture. And I was like, well, that's cool. I gotta add that in. I can't remember who's or what is being burnt there, but it's someone watching someone be burnt. Yeah, if I can find, actually, if I can find the actual book that these pages were taken from, I would just get the book and then scan them, like a negative of them, yeah. and then just turn the saturation up, flip the negative, and then just basically. What's this one? This is the Black Kodak, or the Black Zodiac. 13 Ghosts. Yeah. This is where you get into the 13 Ghosts. So like 12. Yeah, but in the movie, there's the 12 ghosts, and then the last one that frees them is the 13th. Yeah, I know it's a joke. He got around it twice. <laughs> there's 24 here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, the explanation for the mechanism behind how to keep them locked in. Yeah. You know where the movie, the idea for the movie came from? Or the thir the remake of it, the, what, 2001 or whenever it came out? Yeah. The, uh, the guy that directed, wrote and directed the movie, he was at a, um, he was getting an eye exam done, and he was watching the gears of the different, like, slides, you know, when they test your eyes. He was watching them, like, go. He'd be like, that would be kind of cool. There's, like, a whole house or building designed with, like, walls. And that's where the whole thing started. <laughs> That's the man baby and the tiny mom. Yep. Is that the hammer? Yep. Yeah. There's His backstory. I was listening to things on the backstory of all these yeah, ghosts and Yeah, I've seen them. The juggernaut. No, that's the Jekyll. The Jekyll. Yeah. The Jackal. The Jekyll. Well, either one. Well, who knows? The Jekyll. Klaatu, Verata, Nachalrin. That's the Titan. Yep. I can't remember what one. The is sacrifice. That. Is that the one? Yeah. yeah, there was the tormented lover, which was his wife, who died in the fire. Right. And then he had to... He was the 13th ghost. He had to sacrifice himself. I thought... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. To in, free her... Yeah, okay. To free the ghost. Yeah, I haven't seen that in probably since 2001 or two. Well, I've got a pretty decent attic mm -hmm. memory. When it comes to videos and shit. This is Elder Props. These are all his, um, I think his name's Juan. His, um, designs. Nice. I don't know why I'm being so careful. <laughs> Fuck you. Do you want some latex gloves? I can give I you almost, those, too. I almost do. I almost do. <laughs> You can get like the fonts too on that same website yeah. to do complete custom creations. So you can actually type whatever message you want out and it'll come out in like the Evil Dead fucking font and be like, fuck you, James. I'm like, this is pretty fucking cool. James, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Every page you turn, you become more, more gay. <laughs> this is like a real page turner. <laughs> Satanic Bible? No, this is the Nine Gates of the Shadow Kingdom. This okay. is from the Ninth Gate. Oh. In order. <laughs> nice. Now, these are not the right pages. <laughs> Where's the initials? Not a real copy. Couldn't find them. Really? No. 
Some might have them, but finding like the doubles of each one. Yeah. Yeah, because but then were... I also thought I'm like one. This is before I took some pages out. Like I was hitting, I was getting to the point where before finding the doubles of these, I was gonna have to buy a fourth fucking pack. Like this book would have been over four hundred pages long. I'm like, I got like there's some stuff that, like doesn't really need to be in here. Because I started looking around for uh, the Gozerian Codex from oh, the PlayStation Three, Four, or Five Ghostbusters game. You got some tissue? Can I put this out? Yeah. I don't want to do this over your, um... I don't know. My nose is starting to fucking run. Um... Thank you. <laughs> 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 there we go. Um... That was weird. Yeah, it's the, the Gozerian Codex that the Grey Lady had in the Ghostbusters game. Oh, yeah. I was looking for that. I, I think your book is starting to possess me. <laughs> start bleeding and start speaking in tongues, please. I say, bleeding out my anus. Use the, use the master sword. Take me out. Um. What else? Oh, I mean, the whole thing really started from the Tobin Spirit Guide, that big one that I was talking oh, so, about. Oh, yeah, there's one of them, AT. That's yeah. not the right one. Uh, LCF, there it is. So the five's it's a real all, one. It's all the ones with the LCF, Lucifer. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Lucifer, uh, NASA's was there one one telescope that's supposed to peer out like like their one of their most powerful telescopes. Yeah, I can't remember that what they're paying attention to is named Lucifer. Oh no 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 no, it's not NASA, it's uh, the Vatican. Yeah, they have a powerful telescope and it's called Lucifer. Can't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah, it's now it's gonna find the initials in every page. But because yeah. the Ninth Gate was one of the movies I I don't know why I really liked it. I enjoyed it, but like I said, like I went in expecting one thing, and it was completely something else. Like I was expecting a horror movie, and it was more of a psychological yeah, I, thriller. I wasn't disappointed at all. No, I, I I watched the whole thing. I just had to shift real quick in what I was expecting because if I didn't, I was going to be disappointed. <laughs> but yeah, so it was all right. But yeah, I was looking to add all these other fucking things, and I'm like, this book is gonna be like, this. Is gonna, I'm gonna end up making volumes of this, and it's gonna be like the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> so I ended up taking a bunch of stuff out, and I'm like, I'm not gonna look for the doubles of these. This book is already, right now, it's three and a half inches thick. You have double of that. Well, yeah, that's the one I did find double of. Is the very last one. So I'm like, well, that's a good one to actually have the number nine and the number nine, which is would actually be ten for that section. So it evened it out. And then these are all the custom ones. This one I had a lot of liberty with, so I you know have the sections of font and the art. So I added that. And then I just started. Yeah, see that I kept. I did my own script up here, and then drew in these like handprints that continued down. So I added the Blair Witch to it. I'm like, well, that kind of follows the same thing, like the Wiccan thing. Ash versus Freddy versus Jason, so I put both of them in. But those are in the other ones. I just changed, like, the design of the pages and whatnot, yeah. and I added that in. <clears throat> um, and then that, again, the goes nun. with the whole theme. Yeah. Uh, Valak from um, 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 Conjuring 2. Conjuring, yeah. But it was also... Exorcism. Had, yep. The Exorcist. Then, yep. And that was just extra art I threw in there. Burnt the pages to hell. That is another Sam Raimi. Yep. Drive me, me to hell. And I have the old hag. Triforce is back. Ne yep. <laughs> next to drag me to hell. Another just random one. Booby. Wicked stuff. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not looking that page. <laughs> Oh, Pinhead. Yep, Pinhead, who was also... Swamp thing. Who was supposed to be... I put Pinhead in there because that was supposed to have been the outro or the ending or the post credit scene or whatever to uh, Freddy vs. Jason when they both get to hell. And then Pinhead was supposed to greet them and be like, gentlemen, what can I do for you? And that was the way it was supposed to end or one of the rumored endings. So just because it was a rumored ending, I threw it in there. Hell yeah. And then the yeah. Necronomicon made an appearance in... Um, the comics of Marvel yep. Zombies. 
when you know they had like ash asked the necronomicons like is this your fucking doing and you know the necronomicons like this has nothing to do with me because in the comics and the lore of evil dead the necronomicon talks yes but yeah so i i ended the book this, this is actually the true ending this is an extra page i threw in just to attach this to but it the true ending was it starts or it ends the same way it started but yeah so that's that nice then i got this oh god <laughs> Tobin, that this is what kind of started me down the whole path is that this is the cheaper version of the Tobin Spirit Guide, and the the big one. I think I was telling you about it. It was like three hundred dollars that they're, but the it's fucking massive and it has supernatural, paranormal characters and whatever f- across all different media, like everywhere, including like Blair Witch stuff like that. I'm like, that's fucking awesome, like that is a book I want. And then I go on their website to pre-order it. It was like $298. I'm like, I don't really want it that much. <laughs> yeah. But they have that, that smaller one. Carpathia, yep. Yeah. So I'm like, well, that's cool. I'll pick that up. But yeah, event, originally I was going to add that into this book. Vince Clortho. Yeah. master. I am the gatekeeper. <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So that's our book club this week, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get yourself a copy of uh, Tobin's Spirit, Tobin Spirit Guide. It's a good read. And also, I don't know if you'll be able to find this one on your local bookstore, but if you can find the Necronomicon Ex Mortis or... Naturo Di Monto. That's oh. also a good read. Black Codex and all that crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, that would be that. Bye. <laughs>